for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Leo, in the recent past, we got judgment and with the page of wands. Now, judgment is a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too fast or too hastily. If you were prone to doing such things, it's shown a sign that you probably need to slow down and give things more thought and give people more chances. This could have been a time of spiritual awakening. Now, the judgment card is with Page of Wands. Now, Page of Wands, they're usually warm, ambitious types, uh, high achievers. If not the actual person, the Page of Wands, it does indicate the energy of easy distraction. So it's about trying to stay focused because this card, it indicates that things you started some time ago, it could have started to come to life, started to come to fruition. It can, um, it can also show, well, it's also showing a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a positive energy, but because of the easy distraction the page brings, you have to supply the follow-through. So, Leo, basically, Judgment and Page of Wands for the recent past, it looks like there was someone that was wanting to be with you. Yeah, this Page of Wands. Um, this person had a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion. And they were eager to continue to explore this connection. But it was either you or them that was very judgmental. Um, you or this person had a hard time offering forgiveness. Um, yeah, so it caused the relationship to be a make or break period. Yeah, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's somebody that this person could have been younger than you, a student, or you could have found this person was immature. So they jumped to conclusions, or you jumped to conclusions, and you, you didn't offer forgiveness, and um, there was a lot of jumping to conclusions. I think I said that, yeah, judge, very, very judgmental. Now this could have been you, or this could have been them, your person. But that's the recent past, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what What's coming up for the present time? I've got the Six of Pentacles, and it's with the Five of Cups. Six of Pentacles, it's showing it's a turn for the better, particularly when it comes to money, because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive Pentacles. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So when you get this card, you're heading into a really good, positive cycle. The Six of Pentacles, it's a card about generosity. It means that you are about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Six of Pentacles is with the Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how, we're, how well they work for us. So you might find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? Now, keep in mind, the implication is clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk you still have and get on with things? The point is, you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So, basically, Leo, for the present time, Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, It looks like there is some disappointment in a situation or a connection or a disappointment with a person. Because the final comes is about disappointment. You're trying to choose where you put your focus. Are you going to cry over the milk that is spilt in the relationship? Or are you going to focus on what's positive? But it looks like there's some disappointment and you're trying to make a decision, there's some lost regret, feelings of, you could, you could feel abandoned or unloved, 
with that's what you get with the five of cups. But then things turn around for the better. It's it's showing that, but well, with the six of pentacles, it's saying that you're heading into a positive cycle. So let me give you another another story. It could be that you're in a good relationship now. Yeah, for most of the for most of you Leos, it's gonna be like this. Your relationship is good, it's prospering, and it feels like you're in a good cycle. But then all of a sudden there's some something happens, there's some disappointment. So you're gonna to need to focus. You're gonna to need to try to pinpoint where you want to put your focus on a disappointment or on what's still good because you're going to feel like you, there's some loss there's, there's some regret there's grief feelings of abandonment so yeah i'm thinking for most of you, yeah, it's good now, but then something happens and there's disappointment. So, it's about where you put your focus. Now, that's the present time. Let's see what we got for the challenge. We got this Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. The Two of Wands, it's basically about having two paths towards a future, having two options. So it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the simple, mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. Because this to one that indicates a partnership with another person. This can be business, it can be personal, or it can be both. But it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. Um, that's the Two of Wands. As you can see in the picture, the Two of Wands is the card above the word challenge. He's got two wands, one to the right and one to the left. He's more focused on the one where the rope has his leg tied to it and it's in the direction of the bird. But the other one, he only has his hand tied to it, and he's not looking in that direction. So it's about trying to make a decision. Now, it's with the Ten of Swords, which is showing that you have to be careful where you put your trust, because when the Ten comes up in regards to, in regards to questions as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or trust that the situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. Try to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust in the universe, trust yourself. So basically, the challenge, it looks like you're not trusting the a situation or you're not trusting the connection that you're in with a person, you're not trusting someone, you feel defeated, you can feel like um, the connection is ruined, or a relationship is a failure. That's what the Ten of Wands is showing. And you just, your trust is gone. Yeah, the trust is not there anymore. So it looks like coming up, you'll be trying to weigh your options. You got a couple of options here. Should you go this way or should you decide on another direction? So, yeah, something in the relationship or in a connection or a situation has got you, it's got you feeling defeated. Yeah, it's got you feeling really defeated like it's ruined. So now you're weighing your options. Yeah. So let's see what the outcome is going to be for you. We got the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. Now this Ten of Wands, 
It's pretty clear in the picture. It's in the wands is the card that's above the word outcome. You see how this man is walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. You could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look really hard at this and see if there are any ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively, because if you look carefully part of the burden you're carrying, it actually belongs to someone else, so it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and don't try to take on too much. This ten of wands, when it comes to relationships and love, it's signifying it's a hard place in a relationship. Yeah, you and your person, you could be undergoing a rough time. So, it's, the relationship is experiencing some difficulties, or the connection is difficult at this time. Now, it's with the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is about an element of sorrow, which is undeniable when you get this card, but what's on the other side of this sorrow? It can be enhanced understanding and joy. So, allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or sadness that comes up now so that you can move past it. This card, it can also point to maybe a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it's not going to make it go away. So, like I said, make sure you allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up so that um, you can move past it. But make sure you don't wallow in it. Because you do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. So, Leo, the outcome, it looks like the relationship or the connection or the person you're dealing with or the situation that's got you feeling like you can't trust it anymore, it's got you feeling like this is difficult. And I'm picking up your person that's feeling the difficulty also. You and your person are starting to feel like this is a difficult situation, it's a difficult connection, and with this three of swords here, you start to shut each other out. Yeah, um, you close yourself off. You might feel like severing ties. So you, you or your person starts to feel rejected. Yeah, that's what the three of swords is doing, and it just the relationship it becomes really difficult, really difficult. It feels like a burden, but just keep in mind, this is a weekly reading, third week of September. Hopefully things will turn around for you too, but coming up, it looks like the relationship gets difficult and then you're weighing your options. You're trying to see, should you go this way? Should you go that way? You don't trust the connection anymore, and it looks like you might end up crying over spilled milk. And um, Six of Pentacles is there. The relationship was good for a while, but something happened. Yeah, you could still be dealing with the same person from the recent past um, who was very judgmental. And I say you could still be dealing with this person. It's because the recent past could have been a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, six months ago, or more. So this reading could still have you connected to that same person who you found was well, immature, the Page of Wands. But the outcome, it looks difficult. And there could be some sadness there with the Three of Swords. And you're trying to figure out, figure out what to do, weigh, you're weighing your options, and you're no longer trusting the connection. The connection.